Welcome back, Patriots. Welcome to Sons of Liberty 1773. This is indeed where men and women from around the world gather in defense of liberty. I am your host, Bill Bailey, who will be channeling the patriotism of America's founding fathers, such as George Washington, who rightfully said, the Constitution vests the power of declaring war in Congress. Therefore, no offensive expedition of importance can be undertaken until after they shall have deliberated upon the subject and authorized such a measure. President doesn't declare war in this country. Congress does. Ronald Reagan voiced, people do not make wars, governments do. And we're heading for a doozy, folks. A um, lot, lot to talk about. I'm going to try to pack it in here and uh, keep the video short. I'm a little hoarse, but um, we'll get through this. So remember, not even a month ago, on the anniversary of 911, think about this, folks. On the anniversary of the greatest terrorist attack on America, 911. So just September 11th, not even a month ago, when Biden released six billion dollars to the biggest sponsor of state terrorism, Iran. And here we are, not even a month later, and Israel suffers a Pearl Harbor level event by savages that murder, rape, and torture innocent civilians. Israel's president said, not since the Holocaust have so many Jews been killed in one day. It looks like well over 1,000 Israelis were slaughtered and many more than that injured. Israel will not stop the counteroffensive, even if it means the loss of every hostage Hamas is holding. They've killed nine Americans, by the way. I assume tortured savagely and brutally murdered them. Um, Hamas announced just hours ago that they will execute one hostage live on TV for every airstrike in Gaza. Again, these people are barbarians straight out of the Dark Ages. These savages stripped, raped, and murdered Israeli women before parading their lifeless, naked corpses in the back of trucks for the world to see. These people are as evil as it gets. Israel plans to annihilate their enemies, rightfully, right, for, for, these, for this heinous attack. Hezbollah has now joined the war, launching a missile, missile attack from Lebanon. Israel launched airstrikes on Lebanon, so Israel has already declared war on Lebanon. Turkey has warned America to stay out of the fight, but rest assured that America will defend Israel at all costs. Don't think for a moment that Israel and America don't have their eyes set on Iran, who funded, thanks to Obama, they had $6 billion, uh, funded, organized, and started this war. The USS Gerald R. Ford Strike Group, Carrier Group, is on its way to the eastern Mediterranean to support Israel. A U.S. B-52 bomber has already landed in Israel. Israel is mobilizing 200,000, maybe 300,000 uh, military men and women for a massive ground attack that's coming. Happen any day now. Prime Minister Netanyahu just spoke, saying the enemy wanted a war and he will get it. It appears Netanyahu wants an all-out war in the Middle East. Can't blame him. They didn't start this, but I got, I got a feeling they're going to probably try to finish it. The terrorist attack on Israel started a new war in the Middle East. It's going to expand, and it's going to get worse. And let's not forget, folks, Israel is a nuclear nation. They have nuclear weapons. So if Iran ever decides to launch a nuke at Israel, um, you know, it's, it's going to be biblical. Um, not laughing, not, not making light of it. Very serious stuff. Right now, Israel is bombing the hell out of the Gaza Strip. I think they want to raise the whole Gaza Strip and just, they've had enough. Iran's proxy, Hamas started it, 
and Israel has every right to destroy them no matter what they are where where no matter where they are hiding. And make no mistake, America is going to get sucked into this war. In the coming war with China in the South China Sea over Taiwan, not to mention the Biden regime uh, wanting to ever escalate the Ukraine war with American soldiers and more military equipment and more billions of our dollars against Russia. Folks, we could be fighting a three-front war in just months. You know, truly a world war. World War III has started and will soon be engulfing the entire planet. Joe Biden and his criminal regime are responsible for all this, every bit of it. This, this blood in Ukraine, in the Middle East, is on the Biden regime's hands. You know, Obama, uh, his boss, Obama, all of them. <clears throat> I wonder, don't you wonder um, if the Trump haters are waking up yet? Do they miss his mean tweets? Trump ruled from strength. There was peace in the world. Biden rules from weakness. There is war in the world. I'll take the world under Trump's leadership any day. Not only when he was president, but hopefully in the not too, too distant future when he is our president again. If we survive that long, folks, I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I really don't believe the world holds together for another 12 months. It's unraveling rather quickly, don't you think? Not good. Biden, the Manchurian candidate, is in hiding, refusing uh, to speak to the press. Done this two days in a row now. He knows he's responsible. He and his goons have, have us hurtling deeper into World War III and very likely nuclear world war. He and his evil ilk don't seem to have a problem with it, do they? And worse, because Biden has allowed our enemies to flood through our southern border unopposed, the same group that just attacked Israel is here in the continental United States, no doubt planning a similar attack on us. Trump just posted, the same people, quoting here, the same people that raided Israel are pouring into our once beautiful USA through our totally open southern border, at record numbers. Are they planning an attack within our country? Question mark? I think they are. Uh, he finishes, Crooked Joe Biden and his boss, Barack Hussein Obama, did this to us. Totally agree with him. Destroying the world, folks. Destroying America and the world. Carmine Sabia, if I'm saying his name right, Hamas has terror cells in the United States. They come in via the poorest southern border. The people in power know this, and they also know there will be attacks targeting our major cities. America is next. Joe Biden and his handlers are responsible for what is set to happen. Laura Loomer tweeted, Sources telling me that there were emergency intel meetings this weekend to discuss the rise of Hamas terror cells that are operating in American cities. These Hamas terrorists came across the U.S. border and are apparently planning to attack major U.S. cities over the next 14 months. Hamas has directed their supporters in their telegram to retaliate against Americans for U.S. support of Israel. So folks, you had better be on guard and be ready to defend yourself, your loved ones, and others 24-7 as we go forward. From now on, because the war is going to be in our backyards. Red Dawn, remember the movie Red Dawn? It's coming. Uh, by the way, remember the Wolverines in the Red Dawn? Um, those young patriots that fought the commies? Uh, it's quite fitting name because I live in Michigan and we are known as the Wolverine State. Unfortunately, we have a communist government right now. But that does mean uh, fully embracing the Second Amendment. Um, I do own guns. I've been trained with them. Uh, I think I'm a fair marksman. I do have concealed carry. 
Um, and I suggest you get trained if you do not have uh, proper gun training. Go take some classes. Uh, go go to um, some shooting ranges and get proficient in uh, knowing and um, discharging your uh, firearm. Be prepared, my friends. <clears throat> I believe what we are witnessing in the Middle East is the opening salvo of the biblical holy war. Really think we're living in the witnessing the end times, folks. We'll see. Uh, but certainly the recipe is there. The ingredients is coming together. Uh, we're, you know, this epic battle where good and evil fight. Um, spoiler alert, good does win in the end, although there's going to be some terrible times we're going to go through. Uh, God wins in the end, right? This I do know. It's going to get worse, and the time to prepare for the hard times coming is the window's getting shorter and shorter. So I suggest you stock up on everything you need to survive what's going to be the greatest storm of humanity, both economically and, and militarily. Uh, it's going to be the, um, uh, I think we're, we're heading into the greatest depression, and I think we're, we're going into, you know, heading, we're already in World War III, and I think ultimately it'll be nuclear world war unless we get Trump back in office like yesterday. Uh, just so you know, we're not preparing for the shit to hit the fan. The shit is hitting the fan. The shit is hitting the fan now, and the fan is going to turn faster and faster, and more and more shit is going to get piled on. Going to get a lot worse. <clears throat> There's so much more I could talk about with you folks. I, I could have a three-hour video on, on what's going on in the world. Um, something I, I did want to touch, and I didn't put in my notes here, it comes to me. Israel and America, um, British intelligence, there's no way everybody dropped the ball on this terrorist attack. Israeli intelligence is second to none. They are the best in the world. Um, talk is they're woke. They, they have a woke government like us, and they're just not paying attention. They just, they just, they missed it. I still kind of find that hard to swallow. And um, the enemies are getting stronger and stronger. Iran is about ready to have nuclear weapons. Maybe they said, you know, let them bring it. That will give us, you know, it's like our Pearl Harbor. Uh, people don't want to go to war with our enemies, but this will bring them on board. I mean, it, it could. they could have just said, I, I just have a hard time believing they didn't know about it. Um. Matter of fact, I don't believe they didn't know about it. But for whatever reason, um, I mean, is it possible uh, that they're woke and have embraced all this um, um, liberal ideology, you know, the rainbow flags and the um, uh, evil agenda? I mean, a lot of people, in uh, a lot of Israelis have, folks. Uh, there's the devout religious people there, and they have their progressive rulers too. I mean, they're trying everything to get rid of Netanyahu, right? Um, so it's possible that they just are too busy working on woke stuff and not paying attention. But um, just hard to believe that all the intelligence around the world uh, blew it. Um, like 911, right? Um, or Pearl Harbor. And, and no one knows the truth about Pearl Harbor or, or 911 yet. Uh, we may never know, but I, I suspect um, they were, um, they knew, our, our government knew. Mm -mm. Anyways, um, I always have my, for this channel, um, my affiliate link to My Patriot Supply. It's a unique link, okay, that you can use. It, you pay the price through My Patriot Supply, no matter where, where, where you, however you get there. Same price through this, but they kick back a little money because I'm an affiliate. Helps keep the lights on. Uh, so my Patriot Spy link is always in the description of my videos. Uh, you might as well get a good night's rest in these um, uh, trying times. Uh, and, I, and Mike Lindell, I mean, his lawyers just left him because he doesn't have the money to pay him. Uh, he's focused on keeping my pillow up. That's his number one priority. Um, and so if you can give Mike Lindell some love, uh, he's got some great sales going. Use use the promo code S O L 
1773 at mypillow.com. But um, it's getting serious, folks. Um, this could snowball into full-on World War III, kinetic warfare, three-front war. We're engaged in a war in the Middle East, in Europe, and in the South China Sea against Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, uh, Turkey. You know, did I get them all? Let's see. China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, Turkey. Um, and, our, you know, are there no one in countries that uh, hate us? Um, within months. It could, it could happen that quick. I, this thing in the Middle East could have us, you know, sucked in within days, weeks. Um, Trump, you know, all you people that hate Trump, you got a effing head problem. Uh, you, you really are lost in, in liberal bullshit. You've been indoctrinated in um, wokeism. Uh, you've spent too much time in um, uh, communist run indoctrination camps. You don't know history. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, excuse my language, but it just really pisses me off. Trump, you know, the guy you hate, the, the mean tweet guy, negotiated trade deals where America wasn't getting bent over anymore. Brought jobs back to America. Lifted the working class of all um, prides and stripes. Income was up for black America, Hispanic Americans. Um, uh, all all um, Americans. Um, life, life was better. Inflation was down. Energy costs were low. There was peace in the world. He was in, ending the, in, the endless wars. Within three years, energy is up. Inflation is up. Income, I mean, in three years, you've lost $18,000 18, of your buying, buying power. Um, that's a hit. We're in war in Europe, we're heading for war with China, and we're heading for war in the Middle East. The Afghanistan problem wouldn't have happened. Be 13 American heroes that would have came home, been with their loved ones. Many more that are missing eyes and limbs that would be whole. We wouldn't have left our enemy $86 billion of our war equipment, by, which, by the way, was used by the terrorists in Israel, as is the, the weapons from Ukraine were used against Israel by this criminal Biden regime that started the war in Ukraine. They, they put a puppet government in there. They pulled a coup in Ukraine um, on the border of Russia. They were creating havoc, and Putin, who I don't like, had enough. Can't blame the guy. Um, that war is going to continue to march on, and they're going to feel more emboldened, right, if uh, Iran wants to pull America into into the into a war in the Middle East. Uh, Iran, remember, um, Iranian is run by Shiite Twelvers. They want to bring back the twelfth Imam by starting the last war of humanity, and then they think it'll be a great peace. Uh, it would be some somewhat like um, starting a wo world war. Uh, to bring back Jesus and, and the peace that will follow. It, it, it's kind of that thinking, but we wouldn't do it. They, they actually will and are going to try and probably may, may be successful in, in um, uh, starting a war in the Middle East. It looks like it. Um, they have no respect for life. None. Um, these savages are already in live TV chopping the heads off of, of Israeli soldiers they captured. Sadistic, evil, evil as it comes. Um, Israel has been our one strong ally in the Middle East, um, and I and I am for protecting Israel. Uh, biblically, they will not fall. Um, they're going to survive. And um, and by the way, everybody goes, well, you know, Bill, you know, it's it's not the holy war yet. You know, it's not happening. They haven't built the third temple. Look up the templeinstitute.org. Templeinstitute.org. The temple's built, folks. It's prefab. They built all the um, replicated the artifacts. Uh, they've cloned, you know, a perfect red heifer without blemish. Uh, they're, they're, it's when they get the go ahead, boom, it's up. 
could be up in weeks. Uh, so that could happen r really quickly. But um, um, back to what I was saying, all you Trump haters, maybe you ought to get your head out of your ass and wake up. Um, is Trump a little full of himself? So yeah, so what? He's a New Yorker. Have you met a New Yorker? They're all full of themselves. Um, he's been a successful American. He's been great for this nation. Uh, took no presidential pay. I mean, he had to take it because they had to give him the check, but he gave it all away. It always went to charity. Has lost billions from, from uh, taking on the deep state and uh, fighting the globalist. Look what he's going through for us. If you ask yourself why, when things, Trump gave us four years of peace and prosperity, um, it's because Trump stands against everything they, Trump stands against for everything that's good and against them and their cause, which is evil. Um, they are evil people. And, and Trump, and especially, you know, us, his supporters, the MAGA, make America great again. Um, they can't stand us. Uh, and that's why Biden, at his Moloch speech, with the eerie red lighting, demonic backdrop, where he defiled the holy ground of Independence Hall, said the greatest threat to democracy is the mega Republicans. Really? Uh, and now Hillary come out and said the Trump mega cult needs to be reprogrammed, right? They want to have the indoctrination camps, the gulags. She wants gulags for all of us. They want, they'd like to kill us. Remember Obama, uh, those people clinging to their um, guns and Bibles? Um, and now the FBI has come out with a, another um, um, enemy of the state, uh, the Trump Republicans, the mega supporters. And I, I, I kind of guess what they look for. It would be um, holding up, anybody holding up a constitution, a Bible, or anybody that owns a constitution, a Bible, or a gun. If they own all three which I'm thinking most of the watch of this channel do. I mean, you're definitely, we're all on the list. Um, did I tell you it's going to get worse? It's going to get worse, folks. Um, the war, um, as Israel continues bombing, and they're getting ready for a massive ground war, um, Israel's surrounded by enemies. Um the fear, you know, watch, they, they're going to all join hands and there may be a massive counteroffensive, and that's when, you know, um, we're going to be full on protecting Israel. Um, I, I don't, you know, I'd like to just tell you it's going to sunshine and, you know, rainbows and unicorns and all that uh, smell of flowers in the air. It's going to be wonderful and beautiful going forward. I just don't see it, folks. I do not see it. Um, so, you know, do what I keep saying. To, I mean, I, th I try to give good advice. Number one is praying. Number one is accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's the number one prep, folks. Nothing after that matters because we all have a drop dead date, right? We're all going to die. Uh, but we are going to live forever. I, I promise you that. Uh, and it's just a matter of where your forever is going to be spent. And I would rather you get put on the sunshine, nice part of the pasture, you know, that side of the fence where it's truly glorious with no evil and um, wonderful for eternity versus the other side that's hot, smells like sulfur and um, demonic and um, pain and suffering and gnashing of teeth for, for all eternity. Um, but stock your pantries, load up, oh, Gasoline. Uh, as this thing expands in the Middle East, gasoline may go through the roof, folks. Keep your cars full. Buy some extra 10-gallon gas cans. Fill them with gas. Put a little fuel stabilizer in them. I like sea foam. Um, uh, that's going to be a big prep. Have your, keep your cars filled. If you're going by a gas station and you have time and you're only on a quarter tank, top it off. Um, but that's going to be a big prep, get a lot of gas. I just had our um, electrician here. I put a picture of it in the community post and had a whole house protector put on our electrical panel. I owned it. I just needed, I didn't know how to hook it up. So I had the electrician hook it up. I had him actually hook up a transfer switch 
So I can just plug my generator in instead of back feeding the panel like I was. Um, I have a second generator now that I have that I've had in a box. I just put it together, put oil in it. Not going to put any gas into it till I absolutely need it. I um, may put it in a Faraday cage. I put um, ferrites, which you can get at um, disasterpreparedness.com, I think it is. Um, they're not much. They go on the main, the two main power wires that go into your electric panel and the ground. Uh, they kind of um, take up some of the surge and what they don't, that surge protector I put in will handle uh, because the EMP threat now is a reality. Um, uh, and I would like to be able to have the wiring and everything functioning in the house. So if we do get hit with an EMP, I can plug in the generators and we can still have juice. I can run my water well, uh, fridges and uh, freezers, although we will be thawing and canning stuff that's in our freezers because we will never have enough gas on hand to just keep stuff going forever. But it's buying us time. Um, and then I will reserve gas and only run the generator to pump up our well uh, and then shut it off because then it'll be under pressure and we can we can do a lot without having to run the well again uh, just from the extra tank. Um, we heat with wood. Uh, we have a hand pump water well if we need it. Uh, but I, Renee and I have been preparing, you know, slowly because it takes time and money um, for a long time. So we're probably a lot more prepared than many watching this are, but um, there's still time, although I believe the window is closing, to be stocking up on stuff. Israel, by the way, um, one last thing, um, since this war started, this terrorist attack, their grocery stores are running right out, uh, and the supply trucks aren't refilling them. I mean, you can imagine this, right? Um, so um, that's what's going to happen here. Uh, it, the crap hits the, you know, uh, if these terrorist cells that are embedded in this country pull something like that off inside the country. Or there's an um, attack on the grid, right? Uh, a, a cyber attack, even. Um, or any kind of chaos like that, and the stores are going to be, you know, out. So um, I just suggest, um, while things are good here and the stores are stocked to the ceiling, I mean, you go into Sam's Club, I mean, they're just packed, right? Um Stock up. If you don't have a lot of money, I suggest white rice, dry beans, uh, water filtration. That's the bare minimum. That's where you can start uh, and build from that. But um, um, we're in perilous times, my friends. And um, just hope you um, keep praying, keep prepping, and uh, keep the faith because God wins in the end. I love you all. See you in the next video. Bye.